Good morning, Michelle Saxman here, and ready to share with you some Time with Jesus Calling by Sarah Young on June the 21st. Well, it was um, early, much earlier this year that we were told that time is a teacher. That too is a teacher. But it says to be patient and how our, our inclination in the human form is to kind of rush things along, to hurry, to get through. And he's like, slow down. I'm in the midst. I am already with you. I am with you. I am within you. I am, I was, and I always will be. So I was in the past. I'm in the present. I will be in the future. But you will only experience me in the present moment. So being that we were designed as a time-bound creature, but we need to take this time and surrender. You guys, he's in the midst of all of it. And when we catch ourselves, at least me, very, very recently as we prepare for this trip to go um, to the wedding this coming weekend, it is all this like to do in a specific time frame to try to hurry up and get it all done. And he was like, please don't miss my peace, my beauty. As we get caught in the clock, it was we get caught in yet another wheel, the hamster wheel of the brain, the ego, and the, the Holy Spirit hamster wheel. But what about the wheel of the clock and trying to get it all done in a specific amount of time? And he was like, learn to master time or it will begin to master you. So we were created for a rhythm, a rhythm of day and night, a rhythm of seasons, a time for things to bloom and come forth from the ground and a time for things to fall from the trees and back down to the ground. There is a season, everything that he has created. So step back, wait patiently and enjoy the blessings that he has in store for us. The first reading is Micah chapter seven, verse seven. But as for me, I watch in hope for the Lord. I wait for God, my Savior. My God will hear me. My big takeaway on that one is hope and that our behaviors reflect our beliefs and that our beliefs are truly founded in hope and gratitude and trust. Uh, the next reading is Revelation chapter 1, verse 8. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. The Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the end, in it to win it, knew us before time was even created. The next reading is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the sun. You guys, I kind of hang on this one and cling to this one. And it was a pastor that posted on social media right when the Ukrainian and Russian war broke out. And I did not understand all that is going on and how, because there is a time for every season. There is a time. And if nothing else, we may not be thankful for the circumstances, but I would say we will be thankful. I will be thankful for the contrast, the ability to see light and darkness, to see darkness and seek the light. So this is, I think, economically, it is a very difficult time, uh, time to tighten up the belt, you know, groceries and gas and all the things, all the prices that are rising up around us. And I go, Heavenly Father, how, 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 why, why, why? There is a time for everything and a season for every activity. We just have to surrender to our Heavenly Father and trust. Then it is Numbers chapter 6, verses 24 through 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. And I will say that will be my closing prayer for each and every one of us. And I will read it again. My prayer over our community and all that are following and walking it out with our Heavenly Father. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. He said, my peace I give you, not as this world gives. You'll allow that to be our foundation as events unfold that to try to believe that our Heavenly Father, um, I, I'd say the universe is unfolding for my benefit, even when it hurts, trusting, walking it out, waiting patiently with hope. Have a super blessed day. Stay connected to the vine and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.